Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Ruth and I do travel, shop with me from time to time. I do decorate with me especially during the holidays like Christmas. Anyways, this is after our cruise to the Canary Islands. So after we stayed at Gatwick, Gatwick Airport for one night and we took a plane uh, going to to um, Venetia airport. So we rented a car from Loca Auto at the Venice uh, airport and we drove to our first stop, which is Pula, Croatia. So from the Venice airport to Pula took us about four and a half hours drive, but we stayed at uh, Primantura, which is 10 minutes away from the Pula center. And we stayed at uh, this apart hotel called Punta Blue. This is uh, Punta Blue, right here on our left side. We're looking for parking. And this is our room. We got the two bedrooms and also uh, it's got a kitchen. So this is gonna be our room. And this is the master bathroom. And here's the living area slash dining area. And here is the small kitchen. It's pretty brand new. I'm not sure if uh, anyone stayed here before us. Probably, yeah, some. Because, it, you know, the place is uh, pretty brand new. It seems like the oven is 
hasn't been used or, or you know, or, yeah, look how it's so clean. So, yeah, I don't know if uh, anyone has stayed here before, but it's pretty nice. It's pretty spacious and the view is uh, amazing as well. And here's the other bedroom. You can actually fit four people or six, maybe because in the living room, I think that turns into a sofa bed as well. But yeah, it's pretty roomy. And here is the second bathroom. And of course, there's the balcony with that amazing view. You can see the water from here. Some people also camp over here. That area um, right there is where they park their campers. And of course, it comes with breakfast. Uh, the restaurant is on the ground floor of the hotel.
our second day we decided to go to the beach because it's such a nice beautiful day and we stopped by to this uh, bakery right here that's close to the hotel and to get some snacks Apple, cherry, potato, beef, yes, or, or pork. I don't know. I'm not yes. sure. Okay. This is cheese. Just meat. Okay. So this. No. Oh.
on our third day in Croatia, we visited Pula. It is also known as Pola. It is the largest city in Istria County, Croatia, and the seventh largest city in the country. We visited this Roman amphitheater that is called the Pula Arena, and it is the only remaining Roman amphitheater to have four side towers entirely preserved. It was constructed between 27 BC and 68 AD, and it is among the world's six largest surviving Roman arenas. And while we were there touring the arena, there were people setting up for Avril Lavigne's concert supposedly that night. Up 
Okay, it is our fourth day in Croatia and having another awesome breakfast. And our itinerary for today is we're going to be visiting another nearby town, which is a small hill town called Motovan. So, uh, yeah, we're just uh, having breakfast right now. And uh, after that, we're uh, going to get ready and headed to Motovan. <laughs> That's Motovan right there, and that is where we are headed. But we stopped by here just to take some photos because it's so beautiful. Motovan is a hilltop walled ancient city. It is located in central Istra. We are getting closer. We can see it up close so yeah and there's a lot of vineyards all around the area too now we are literally at the bottom part of the town so now we are starting to drive uphill so we can see this beautiful hill town Motovan. <laughs> I think the little boy was saying welcome. <laughs> so this is where we look for parking. Uh, we can go all the way up. We have to do, um, take a bus to get us up there. I forgot how much we paid for parking and also for the bus fare. But the bus fare was not expensive. Even the parking was not. I think the bus ride took about five minutes yeah less than 10 minutes and wherever the driver uh, dropped us off that's where we're gonna uh, take it again to uh, take us back down i love little towns like this or you can just walk everywhere Anthony Bourdain was here. Truffles are everywhere here.
After leaving Motovan, we stopped by at this uh, restaurant to grab some snacks. We chose this uh, place because uh, they have a view of it. olive oil and it's a blend of five different kind of olives but the most it's Easter Scabialitsa what is autochton sort for olives here in Istria okay so you can put this blue glass in your hand and when we open you can smell okay and then you can tell me what aromas you feel mm -hmm. what do you feel Okay, the leaves of tomato. Mm -hmm. What else? Something green? I mean, I don't know the type of herbs, but... Yes, but when I we mean, cut... I mean, it smells really yeah. good, but I can't... When we cut the grass, maybe you now... When you... Now it's the vineyards, it's cutting the... The winemakers cutting the grass in the vineyards, and uh -huh. when you're driving, you can feel that... That... Uh, that... Uh, uh, um, yeah, of, of fresh uh, grass. Oh, fresh grass, yes. 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 Oh. And little artichoke. Really good. Yeah, this is wonderful. And when we uh, when we taste the olive oil, mm -hmm. take this little zip because it's strong mm -hmm. <laughs> and little ginger aftertaste. So, but that is very very healthy. The olive oil, mm -hmm. extra virgin uh, yeah. olive oil, it's very very healthy. Yes. So yeah. and polyphenol is the life of of. Uh, olive oil. We have tannins in wines, but polyphenol we have in um, olive. So it's given us aftertaste, it's strong and uh, ginger and you will see. But little zip, okay. little air okay. all around your mouth and then you Swallow. zip it. Then you zip it, you, you take the air of your nose like this. That we see what it's aftertaste, you okay. know. <laughs> so let's go. You ready? <laughs> The air on your nose. You feel very strong, and you see the aftertaste. It keep going, 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 going up. It's not down. It's yeah, yeah. You, you feel? Yeah, I feel it. Yeah, it's so, like it's burning a little bit. But that is very. Uh, that is uh, like ginger, and because uh -huh. it's, uh, Easter scabialitsa is have that uh, that uh, that. Aroma. So this is just pure yeah. olive oil. There's nothing mixed in it. No, this oh. is. 100% oh. of olive oil and it's a blend like they said uh -huh. and we are in the 10 best olive oils in Istria so oh. this is extra virgin very very good olive oil where do you grow your olive trees oh we have downstairs and up oh. Oh. Yeah, and downstairs it's our vineyard so we have all together 26 hectares our and 26 hectares from the corporation yeah, I've never oh. yeah because everybody she is aged in Tehran, homemade focaccia and burrata with aceto cream. What, what is this one? It's burrata. It's, uh, oh, that's the burrata. Like, uh, okay. In the middle of mozzarella. <laughs> We are now headed to another small town called Borech, B-O-R-E-C. It's a small, charming seaside town in Istria. Let's go 
We are now visiting Rovinj. This is the third town we are visiting for the day. They are all close to each other. They're about maybe an hour apart from each other. This reminds me more of Mont Saint Michel. This is our fifth day, last breakfast in Croatia. And after this, we are headed to Sermioni, Italy. We had a great time in Primantura, Croatia, and also visiting all the nearby towns. And looking forward to going to Sermioni, Italy. And thank you so much for watching this video. Hope to see you in the next one.